Welcome to 321 Photoshop, I'm Julianne Cost. Here are 10 tips for layer effects and styles. First, to add a layer effect, we're going to select it from the bottom of the Layers panel. Click the check mark in order to enable or disable the effect. Click the name to apply another effect and see all of the options. Let's change the size to 8 pixels and select a different color. If I prefer these to be my default colors, I can click Make Default. You can add more than one instance of an effect by clicking on the plus icon. I'll change the color to black and then increase the size to 16. But this covers up the stroke below, so I'll use the arrows to change the stacking order of the effect. To hide an effect, we can simply uncheck it. To delete an effect, select it and click on the trash icon. Be sure to check out all of the different options for each one of the effects. For example, I can quickly change the fill type to a gradient and add a gradient stroke effect. Let's apply this and then add a layer mask to the layer and using the gradient tool, fade the text at the bottom. But now it's filled with that layer effect. I'll double click on the word effects and in the blending options, enable layer mask hides effects. We can also change Opacity and Blend Mode, which will change the corresponding sliders on the Layers panel. Opacity will hide the contents of the layer as well as the effect. The Fill Opacity will only hide the contents, leaving the effect visible. To take blending one step further, with the fill set to zero, on the Layers panel we can see the layer underneath the text. If we set the knockout to shallow, now we can see the layer directly under the layer group. And if we set the knockout to deep, we can see through all of the layers to the background image. When we're finished, I'll click New Style and save this style, making it accessible in other documents on the Styles as well as the Libraries panel. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.